All right, guys, we are going to show you how to make this right here. As we go forward, you need to be able to make a product that has a 3D perspective, like you're seeing here. The Nutrition Facts label goes back into the background, and then there is a shadow around this giving it a 3D effect. So what I've done is created a document that is 8.5 by 11, 300 dots per inch in Photoshop, and has a white background, and then imported a nutrition label, which you see right here and the front of a box. So I put the word pop art in a search engine, clicked view image, and I copy and pasted. I didn't save it. We didn't copy and place or anything like that. We copy and pasted it in here, and I did the same for the nutrition label. All right, so the steps to do this are fairly straightforward. If you're on the nutrition label layer, and you go edit, transform, perspective, you can hold your shift key down. And as the top goes up, the bottom will also go up at the same time. And then click Enter. That will then allow you to Control T it and make it skinny, big, short, whatever you want. And the two sides obviously have to match up like that. So you Control T it until they touch each other, until it looks somewhat real. All right, so kind of like that. So you now have a front, and you have a nutrition label. If it looks the way you want it to, you can merge them down. So I'm going to right click, merge down, now they're one layer. So all you have to do is add text and a shadow. So if I double click the uh, layer, all this stuff opens up. I'm going to click drop shadow. This is everything you can do in here for your layer. I'm just going to adjust these. So this is the angle of your light. See how far it spreads out. I'm going to make it a pretty big size. You can make it totally black, or with the opacity, you can make some of it see-through. But you want to make it look like it's kind of floating. So we'll go, let's see. So we'll go right about there. So as you can see, as we drag it, it changes over here. All right, so when you're done, click OK. And your last step is to click the good old text tool. I'm going to click the word Pop Art probably change it to this red color here so you can use the eyedropper to click on any color and it'll change it drag it down here actually I'll tell you what I'll do I'll go in here and click enter so we've got pop art and then I'll write the word pop tarts and change it to yellow Right, to make it stick out a little more, we'll put a stroke around it. So if you double click it, you'll see one of the options is stroke. Let's see what it just did to it there and click OK. All right, and when you're done, you know you don't make any changes, you can flatten the image and it's all one thing now. Right? You can move it around, you can put words under it, saying introducing the new Pop Art Pop Tarts, put pictures behind it, a price, put the store uh, that it's in, put a logo, whatever you want. All right. Give it a go yourself.